What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and welcome to the Summer League Series week number four. So first things first, if you'll notice that dark spot on my forehead, uh, if you must know, um, I foolishly clocked myself in the forehead with a large tree branch. Uh, I was out working with my father. I was helping him uh, move some very large uh, uh, tree branches that he had cut down. And um, while I was uh, uh, trying to move this one tree branch that was lodged into a, bu a bunch of other uh, tree branches, I tried to like get it unstuck. I tried to dislodge it, and it was that specific tree branch wasn't as stuck as I thought it was. And I pulled on it really hard, and it ended up just totally clocking me in the head. And uh, yeah, that's what ended up resulting. And you know, it could have been a lot worse. Luckily, it only amounted to this. It did bleed a little bit, but I'm fine. Uh, I will say, though, I, um, when I got when I hit myself there, I, I felt like I totally got rocked because um, you know how when you hit your head and that, that feeling, like that kind of numb type of feeling or that pain when it passes through your head and you're, you're, you're just like, ah, uh, you know, and you just want to grab your head because you can totally feel the pain passing around your head. That's what it felt like when I, uh, when I had hit myself uh, right there. So, uh, yeah, luckily, uh, nothing, it was nothing too serious. Luckily, it only, like I said, it only amounted to this. So, yeah, no big deal. It'll heal. I'm fine. So I've got a couple of things to update you on, really only two things. Uh, the first one being that we're back on lanes one and two yet again. Uh, not surprised because again, you know, this league, it's only a small league and it's only got eight teams. So it's, uh, very likely that we'll be on one and two a lot more often than not. And that sucks because I hate this pair so much. You guys know how I feel about it. Um, and of course, uh, the one thing that I feared ended up happening on this night. So the right lane carried on being fine throughout the night, but the left lane, what happened was it was, it was dry. It, it, in fact, it was dry before we even got started. I'll show you, uh, like, I'll show you guys what I mean when we get to the games. I won't. I don't want to talk too much about it. But uh, anyway, so the second thing that I want to update you guys on is in regards to some uh, incorrect information that I prov I've been providing uh, about uh, my layouts and what they do for the ball. So you guys know how uh, the part of the videos where I show you my three ball arsenal and then I uh, I put I, I show the ball and. Um, I put the information next to it, like, you know, like it, um, the name of the ball, the how, the weight of the ball, the RG values, the differentials, the, the type of core, um, the type of cover stock, and of course the layout and what that layout does to the ball. That's where the incorrect information is. And some of you in the comment section felt uh, the need to uh, point that out to me that uh, my information is incorrect. So uh, I just want to uh, thank you for that because... Um, uh, I understand that, that there are a lot of people who uh, watch my channel and uh, try to learn from me, and uh, because of that, I feel it is my duty to try uh, to, you know, learn all this stuff and to try to provide you with the uh, accurate information. And clearly, I have been feeding the wrong information to any of you newcomers out there. Any of you with experience obviously know that it is incorrect. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you for that. Uh, any of you uh, who pointed that out, uh, because um, if you hadn't pointed that out, I probably would have continued to provide that incorrect information. And that would have been quite ugly. So again, I, I really appreciate that you stepped up and you said something. Uh, uh, I, I really don't know what else to say other than I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much for pointing that out. So what I am going to do actually to, in an effort to cor uh, uh, correct that, uh, I am going to um, take a trip down to my pro shop operator in the coming days when I go to practice. And uh, I'm going to have a talk with him. And I am going to ask him in great detail what these layouts, uh, every layout that I have, uh, I'm going to ask him uh, in great detail what these layouts do so that way I can provide you guys with the correct information when it comes to the layouts because, again, uh, I know there are a lot of you newcomers out there and I really would hate to be the reason that you guys have been fed uh, the wrong information and you go about something later on in bowling with that, you know, that's something that's incorrect. So, um... Uh, I'm I'm still learning. I'm I'm you know I haven't figured everything out. I know uh, to some of you, uh, some of you out there may think that I have everything figured out. I don't. 
Uh, I'm still very much in the learning stages. There's still very much that I have uh, to learn. Uh, the fact that I had that layout information incorrect is just a sign of that. So uh, one more time, I know you're getting sick of it. I thank you very much to those of you who stepped up uh, and told me that the information was correct. So I just really wanted to let you know that. And um, I don't know, um, maybe later on uh, when I am editing this video, I, I, I might have the correct information. I'm doing this actually before. Beforehand, uh, but uh, probably starting with this video, I might not show uh, the information on uh, the layout simply because it's a work in progress. Uh, I, like I said, I will be going uh, uh, down to the pro shop in the coming days to talk to my pro shop guys. So probably for this video, I will show you the layout numbers, but I won't tell you what the layout does to the ball. So just for this video temporarily, we'll be uh, taking that down and just showing you the numbers. So anyway, uh, uh, the last thing before we get to the three ball arsenal is once again, I had you guys vote on my three ball arsenal, but this time we didn't, I didn't provide you with the entire list of bowling balls that I have. Instead, I provided you with all the weak stuff that I had because obviously we're on lanes one and two. So um, you guys voted and here here is the three ball arsenal that you guys picked from all the weaker stuff that I own. everybody so here we go as this practice session this 10 minute practice session comes to a close i will point out to you what happened in the 10 minute practice session so uh what i did was i felt it would be a good choice to start out with the iq tour edition and uh what i did was i started on the right lane first to uh, just to see what would happen i stood on board 20 since that's where i usually line up with this ball and it struck it was perfect and then I moved to the left lane, did the same thing, stood on board 20, played the exact same line like if I were on the right lane, and it went Brooklyn. And instantly I thought, oh dear God, this lane is going to become a nightmare throughout the night. If, like, already, uh, I wasn't the only one too. I watched as a, a couple other people threw their bowling balls down the lane and same thing was happening so i knew instantly that this was going to be a problem so uh here we go on the right lane as i start the first frame uh with the iq tour edition again uh because of what i saw in practice and see that that is exactly what i saw in the 10 minute practice session perfect and i thought okay i know what i can do on the right lane for the time being and then for the left lane i felt like it wasn't a good idea to pick up the hustle wrap and i didn't want to make any moves with the iq tour edition either uh because i knew already i was gonna have to see that look at that i, I felt like i was gonna need to you know move to the left and i didn't want to and i felt like maybe it was a good idea to pick up the pitch block because you guys know how that works the pitch black takes that oil in the front part of the lane and moves it down so i thought maybe i could just use that uh because i know it won't you know really pop off the spot like the iq tour or the hustle rap like i know it will so i felt like maybe i could just use this ball uh and try to get some oil down there or something so that was my plan going into this first game okay so here we go on the left lane now you picking up the pitch black i didn't think i was ever gonna have to pick up this ball throughout the night but i did and you can see look at that it i i did get it kind of left of target but it picked up pretty early and it went just took a sharp turn to the left i was very very concerned about this problem because i knew that picking up spares was also going to be a problem too i remember i did face a problem where uh yeah you see how the ball didn't necessarily keep on going let's actually play that back watch the spare ball see how it was kind of going but it kind of took a slight turn to the left I knew picking up spares was also going to be difficult on the left line, so I was very concerned. All right, so here we go on the th third frame now after a strike and a nine spare. All 
That one was a little left of target. Now, the speed looked just about the same. I couldn't tell, but that one was definitely a little left of target, and as a result, already a big four. All right, back on this dreaded left lane for the, I believe, the fourth frame. I had moved left. I had moved left right there. I can't remember how much to the left. I think probably like three boards. And still, the ball was picking up. Didn't want to. Didn't want to go right. Look at that. I know some of you are probably going to think that. Uh, no, you 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 got it left right off your hand. Like you, you didn't even bother to to make it go right. No, trust me, I did. I tried. It just didn't want to go to the right. All right, so after a nine spare on the left, we go back to the right for frame five. Put a little bit more on that one. Got it a little more to the right compared to that last shot. And we got a strike now. No more big four. All right, frame six. I continued to move left, actually. That was a bad shot on my part because I I didn't know it in that in like very moment that I l l let go of the ball, uh, but you could actually see that I kind of got it to the right a little too early. See that already? I'd set it up to go there when I probably should have gotten it a little to the right a little further down, if that makes any sense. The ball rolled slowly into what I believe is, yeah, the head pin. Okay, so back on the right lane after that uh, open frame. Things are already not looking good after a split in the third. And to make things worse, hello nine pin. All right, back on the left again. Looked like it was to the right a little too early again, but at the same time, it, it, isn't it kind of looking like the ball caught something to make it just, you know, that is really strange to me. So unfortunately, we have another open frame, and this is looking like a low, low game as we go into the ninth. Not a bad shot. I, w I was, uh, I remember in that moment, I, I was thinking, oh God, is it going to leave me another nine pin? That that looked a little, little bit left to target. It didn't look like I got it as right as that one other shot where I struck on the right, on the right lane. All right, so here we are back on the left lane now for the 10th frame. Sucks that I have to finish out the game on this horrible left lane. And I forgot to also mention that I kept moving left. Just kept on going. At this point, I think I was like on board 23 or something at, uh, at this point. And that shot right there had me thinking, okay, I think I got uh, this pitch black to the pocket now. Even though that didn't look like a very convincing hit. Uh, I left the nine pin and that had me thinking, okay, maybe I just need to move a little more to the, like, like a board to the left or something. And, uh, I didn't notice that that could have actually been a split, should have been a split, but I got a little lucky, but then this happened. You, you see what I'm talking about? Did you see that? The amount of friction that is building up down there. Look at this. Right there, the ball picked up and just, you've got to be kidding me. The crazy thing was that I had actually moved a couple boards left from where I usually stand when I'm picking up that nine pin and it still didn't work. So again, I was thinking to myself, oh, good Lord, I'm going to have to work extra hard to try to pick up spares. This is, this is going to be a fun night. Anyways, after that horrible, horrible, horrible 147 game. We start off game two, 
and back on the left, and I can't remember. I think I moved a board left from where I was standing in the 10th frame of game one. And look at that. I mean, I just don't understand that. Let's take a look. It's like the ball refuses to go to the right. You could say that it. Uh, I set it up to go left of my target, like, very early, but I, I just... I don't know, guys. Help me out here. Remember, I'm no expert. I don't know what is going on here. All right, so here we go back on the right after a undeserved Brooklyn strike. But at this point, you got to take them any way you could get them. That shot was terrible. I literally, you could even tell at full speed that I did not put anything on that shot. I set that thing up to have like very forward type of roll. So yeah, for this particular spare right here, I didn't have it in me to pick up my spare ball, and I learned something from this right here. Take a look. I picked up my IQ Tour Edition, went up the boards, let it hook in, and I got it. And it was from this that I realized, you know what? I think I'm going to pick up this spare like this from now on. I believe that's the 1, the 2, and the 8. And, you know, it's a lot easier, you know? Why, why try to, you know risk getting an open trying to use my spare ball it's unnecessary i'm not gonna lie it's probably something that i should have done a long time ago because i used to pick up my uh, my spare ball uh for that kind of uh for that kind of thing but here we go with the pitch black again even more left and there's the nine pin again <laughs> All right, back on the right. Messed up on that one. And it cost me. But I got it, no problem. Keeping my uh keeping my game clean, I guess, as that is my fourth frame sparing my way through. All right, so here we go now. Uh, left lane, I don't even know what... I think that's the fifth frame now. Yeah, at this point, I was just lost. I didn't even know what to do. All right, so here we are back on the right lane. And after everything that just happened, I decided, okay, let, now we can pick up the hustle wrap. Not the best form. And 3610 is as if things couldn't get worse. All right, so on the left lane, I continued with the pit, uh, with the hustle wrap. Uh, I put the pitch black back in the bag. I felt like that was enough of the pitch black. And I knew I needed to make a, quite a move left. You can see where I'm sliding too. Look at that. You can just tell, you can see that that ball is picking up very early. I mean, another indication, I went Brooklyn. All right, so me being so caught up in uh, what I was doing, I totally did not realize uh, that the camera had shut off. Uh, because, uh, need I remind you, my camera only records a 16-minute video, so at once it gets to 16, it stops recording and the camera shuts off. So I didn't realize that that happened, and I'd missed the strike that I got on the right lane. So we got to skip uh, to the next frame and go to the left lane. <laughs> just just look at that. I mean, it's, it's insane. How much more left am I going to have to go? Here is another great way that you can see how much friction there is down lane in that spot right there that I pointed out. Look at that. How can a spare ball hook that much like that? All right, back on the right, and I, I'm, I'm honestly lost at where we are. I think this is a 10th frame now, and that shot right there was to the right way too early. And as of course, I go Brooklyn, and as much as I didn't like it, I was also thinking to myself, well, at this point, what does it matter? I mean, I, I, because of how bad this is going, I got to take them any way I could get them. Okay, second shot, 10th frame. That's better. That is so much better. Finally, a proper strike. Okay, last shot. Can we strike out? Put a lot of juice on that one. 
and it made it. Struck out, and we got a 186. Not great, but, you know, considering that 147, it's an improvement. Okay, guys, final game of the night, and uh, I didn't make any changes. I continued with that hustle wrap. Messed up on my form there. Too slow. I, I could tell it was a lot slower than my previous shot, and as a result, we have a very difficult split to deal with. Okay, guys, take a look at how insane this is. Hustle wrap, and look how far left I am now. And it still goes Brooklyn. I mean, you could say ball speed was probably a little slow. I could have been a little quicker, but, you know, I I, I just, I don't know, man. Uh, that, that right there is insane. With the hustle wrap, a low-performance symmetrical ball with the pearl cover. I mean... That is dark code territory right there. All right, so here we are back on the right lane, working off of that strike that I got in the second on the left. Didn't like the form at all. That one seemed a little slow too, and it also up to the right just a pinch too early. If I'd have gotten it a little further down, it probably would have made it to the pocket. Alright, so here we go back on the left lane, and I moved even further left, and you you can't even see me. Look, I'm just going to pop up right into the frame. There I am. You can even see my reaction to him like, dude, what is this? <laughs> yeah, my spare game has just become an embarrassment tonight. It's, it's just horrible. Hated my form, but hey, what does it matter? A strike is a strike. All right, back on the left lane again, and I continued moving left. Look at that. I kind of tossed it a little. Finally, I got it to the pocket. Good lord. That right there, folks, I was standing on 435. 35 with the hustle wrap. All right, so here we go on the right lane after two in a row. Put a good amount on that one. Pretty good placement, and we get three in a row. When's the last time I got that? All right, back on the left. Very worried that I might fall over or something being this far left. Slight toss, made it to the pocket, but... Didn't really hit. You could see the deflection, and I leave the 10. Spare game is at 0%. It's the worst. It's it, When it comes to spare game, it's my at my absolute worst, honestly. Yeah, so on this right lane, I forgot to mention, I added an increase in speed. I went from like 15.9 to like 16.2. In order for that to happen, so I knew I really needed to step it up. Alright, here we are in the 10th frame, and there's one thing that I've learned is that I have not practiced enough playing that far left. I definitely got to do that. That one I feel I didn't get it right enough. And I knew that picking this up was going to be no easy task, considering that the friction is even, the high amount of friction is even making the spare ball hook. I mean, look at this. That was probably the one and only time I was glad there was that high amount of friction. So can we get that one final shot as a strike? Oh, fell off on it. But I got it there. I somehow managed to get it there. You know, the one thing that really makes me nervous about playing that far left is that I'll like slip and fall or that my foot will end up hitting this thing right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer there. Uh, that I'll end up hitting this thing and I'll come to like a dead stop and fall over. I, you know, I get real nervous about it. And I feel like sometimes uh, you'll like stick here because I feel like I, I have this thing in my mind that they only whatever it is that they put on on uh right here in these air and uh, on the approach is um i feel like whatever they put that allows us to be able to slide i feel like they only put it here and if you're like way over here you'll like stick because they don't put it but they actually do they oil you they they oil they cover that in the entire thing 
with whatever it is that allows the that approach to be you know slippery enough for us to slide with no problem so yeah i i just have that i i've got to get that out of my head and you know especially when i'm on this pair and that's why that's part of why my form was so awful especially when i was playing this far left but honestly this uh this is a, a terrible night it's one of the worst it's if not the worst i mean uh if we take a look at the uh summary you're gonna see uh based on the stats that this is actually my worst night okay so looking at the summary for week four you can see it is officially the worst i've ever played game one we started off very very badly with a 147 game two i thought things were going to be a little better because i guess uh brought it up to a 186 but it didn't get any better thanks to that left lane. I mean, I know I sound like I'm making excuses, but good God. You know, part of that was my fault. I did make some bad shots. And yeah, we only could get some 172. And I think this probably marks the first time that I fail to get a 200 game out of all three games at least once. So that totally sucked. But I knew it had to happen eventually. And uh, yeah, for week four, we have a 505 series. That's 168 average if you add those three games together. And that is just pathetic. And yeah, uh, that is uh, like unbelievable. I mean, look at that. 100 pins down from last week's series total, uh, which was a 605. And the series required to raise the average was an easy 573, and I couldn't even get that done. Uh, and the pin total after week four is now uh, 2,190 after 12 games played. So if you divide that, uh, the current average comes down to 182.5, a decrease from last week's average, which is 187. And obviously my highest game and highest series continue to stay the same uh, based off of this performance. And well, the good news is that uh, for next week, we're going to be on lanes three and four, which I know are not as bad. So, uh, thank God for that. I mean, I'm, I just hate one and two, but I did learn something from this, um, uh, uh, is that, uh, maybe it's not a good idea for me to bring the IQ tour edition. I mean, it, it'll serve me well on the right lane, but, uh, I'd probably, what I'm probably going to do next time is I'm going to, uh, pack the pitch black. I'm going to pack, uh, patch the, I'm going to pack the hustle rat because of how good it, it does. Uh, but for that left lane specifically, I'm probably going to bring my high road, which I have drilled at 60 by 0 by 0. And I'm not probably going to bring it. Uh, uh, sorry, let me correct that. I'm going to bring it because uh, if there's one thing I know about that ball is that it's just pure roll from beginning to end. It doesn't totally pop off the spot. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to do the next time. And uh, uh it's definitely a good ball for the kind of thing that was going on on that left lane because it, it, it the way it works is uh, for those of you who don't know that 60 by zero by zero layout it puts the pin right on my axis point so that uh, ball will not like totally pop off the spot it's just pure roll from beginning to end so that's what I'm gonna do next time so the pitch black the hustle rat because of how it was playing uh, and uh, that high road for the left lane so. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm sorry that this is uh, uh, that you guys uh, that this is what you guys had to see. I mean, uh, I for the life of me cannot figure this pair out. But mark my words, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out. I mean, I'm not gonna give it up. And um, yeah, that's really it. So now we look, move forward to week five, where we will be on lanes three and four, right next to one and two. So hopefully, uh, I can really make up for this and you know raise my average because lord knows i really need to get out of the 180s and back into the 200s because this is not where i belong so anyway that was week four um and yeah I, i've really got nothing else to say so <laughs> i'll catch you guys in week five